In the land of Susa, the capital of Persian Empire, there lived an exiled Jew named Mordecai. He was a kind man who was faithful to God. One day, oh, oh, oh. that was a scary dream. Hmm. Let me take a walk and I will go to sleep later. Huh? Aren't they king's gods? What are they doing here at this time? The king is going to die tomorrow. <laughs> what? Look at this. This is a powerful poison. I will mix this in his breakfast tomorrow and he will be dead in no time. Brilliant. Just make sure that no one sees you. I will take care of that. You can go and inform our master that his enemy will be no more. <laughs> I will, and he will be very pleased to hear this. He had been waiting for so long. All right then, I will see you tomorrow. They are planning to poison the king. They must be stopped somehow. I will inform this to the king right away. Mordecai informed about their plot to the king Ahasuerus. The king gave orders to arrest them immediately. Take these men and hang them tomorrow at the city gates. Let people see how we punished the traitors. Take them away. Mordecai, I thank you for your service. I would have been dead tomorrow if not for your help. It was my duty to inform you, my lord. Minister! Yes, sir. Mordecai shall be granted ten talents of gold. He need not pay taxes for the rest of his life. Do you hear me? Yes, my lord. Ten talents of gold and lifetime extension from paying taxes. Hmm. Write this order in a tablet and keep it in the archives. Yes, my lord. But no one knew that it was Haman, one of King's advisor, who had sent the guards to kill him. You fool. It was me who sent them. You ruined my plans and you killed my servants. You will pay for this with your life. Just wait and watch. After some time, King Ahasuerus decided that he needed a new wife. He sent his soldiers across the nation searching for suitable maidens. Anyone interested in becoming the next queen should be ready tomorrow. You will be taken to the palace for training and selection. Hmm. Next queen, huh? I will ask Esther to go. Mordecai had a young niece named Esther. She had lost her parents when she was a child. And Mordecai had brought her up like his own child. Esther was very beautiful and she was devoted to God. Why are you so late today? King's messengers were in town. They are searching for a new queen. New queen? Yes. Esther, King's men will come tomorrow to select the queen. You must go with them. What? But, uh, but we are Jews. Will the king accept a Jewish woman? Don't worry. They are not bothered by race and religion. But I'm scared. Fear not, my child. The Lord is with you. He will protect you. All right, father. Let it be according to his will. And the next morning, the king's men came to collect Esther. Remember, my child, you should never forget your people when you are blessed. I will, father. I shall always be grateful. God, please protect her. Many beautiful girls were selected from various parts of the empire and brought to the palace. Esther was one among them. Thank you all for coming. You can consider yourselves very lucky to be among the selected few. In a few days time, 
one among you will be selected to become the next queen. There are so many of them. Each day, one among them were taken to the king. But king rejected each of them for various reasons. Finally, it was the turn of Esther to be presented to the king. Sir, I'm so afraid. Am I dressed properly? Should I put on any ornaments? Don't worry, dear. You are beautiful without any ornaments. I'm sure the king is going to like you. What is your name, lady? My name is Esther, my lord. Hmm. Come closer. Don't be afraid. You're so beautiful, Esther. Where do you come from? I'm from Susa, my lord. Hmm. I like you, Esther. I have decided to marry you and make you my queen. Thank you, your majesty. I, I'm so happy. Out of the hundreds of women taken to the palace, the king selected Esther. They were married in a few days.